Hey, Joe Cummings, Missoula River Lodge, checking in after a week of fishing uh, in Western Montana. It was a awesome week or a not very good week. Um, it really whipsawed this week. We had sections of river that you could throw a single dry the whole day, shoot heads the whole day. Never take that PMD off and they just go and go and go. Um, we had some other sections that didn't do that. It seems like that hatch was peaking and moving. Um, I was really impressed with the numbers of bugs we saw in um, certain sections of the Clark Fork and other sections didn't fish as well. So it really whipsawed. Like 30 fish on a dry, landed over 17 inches, or a four fish day. Uh, the bitterroot um, has been vacant. And most of this stuff has been vacant, other than the upper Blackfoot, which has stayed really busy. It kind of always stays really busy. I don't know why the canyon does that, but that seems like there's always boats there. Uh, it fished well though, and um, it was steady. Blackfoot was steady. It just was odd that you know, certain sections were just so good and other sections weren't. So if you made a bad water call, you kind of get embarrassed by the other boats. But then you adjust and go from there, and it's not like you could do three days in a row of that. It's just a time of year where we're transitioning from PMDs to trichos. So I like it. I mean, it's, it's vacant. Um, Bitterroot had two shuttles on it one day, two working boats. Have it to yourself, awesome, quiet. Uh, trikes are trickling in in a few places, still PMDs. A nice water year, nice time to be here. So cool, liked it. There was some A++ fishing out there this week. Um, and there was some not so good fishing, but you just avoid it after you figure out where the transition zone is. I did have a nice little rumor mill uh, come through the, uh, um, the guide staff the other day. Uh, stories happen with other operators and you hear about them. You never know what's true. It's always uh, he said, she said stuff, but this one was a good one. So well, both these operators I'm talking about are really good operators in town. So the, the outfitter takes a phone call from this guy and the guy says, hey, I want to book this half day trip, but I drive a Porsche. I need private parking for my Porsche. I don't want anybody to look at this Porsche. I don't want anybody to smell this Porsche. This is my Porsche. I want private if I'm going to book with you. The outfitter takes the booking. So I don't know where they parked the Porsche, but they booked the half day try to go fishing, the guide doesn't make it out of town. Client is losing his mind about something. I don't know if it was because he didn't have a lunch on a half day. We don't do lunches on half days, or I don't think anybody does, but they don't even get to the river. He says, take me back to the shop. So client storms into the shop, I guess swatted all the stuff off the top uh, uh, shelf <laughs> on the shop, throws this giant fit about how this is just a BS operation and I can't believe I booked this trip. And then storms off. Well, I guess he was so aggressive that the outfitter then called the police to file an assault charge against him. And in the meantime, the assault charge is being filed. This guy's on the phone again and finds another outfitter, real good outfitter, and he books this other outfitter. So great, so the next day, <laughs> the next day, this other outfitter's driving with the same guy, but apparently they're going to make it to the river this time. The police call and say, hey, I, I need you to pull over. We need to arrest this guy. This is the Porsche guy that nobody wants to look at his special car. So <laughs> police are coming to take his client out of the truck. Well, the client says, you can't arrest me because I acted that way because... <laughs> because the guide threw all my rods and reels out of the side of the truck as we drove back to the shop. So I lost like 1500 bucks in gear. So if you can imagine a truck whipping around to come back into Missoula, somebody screaming at the guide and then <laughs> fire rods being thrown out of the uh, cab, that is an awesome July day. That's just, that's just awesome. Now I don't know what, I don't know what happened. I mean, I know something happened and I, I need to look at the police report to see if, um, if the Porsche was involved or the value of the rods or if there was an assault in a fly shop. So uh, that was a pretty good one. We had a pretty good laugh about it. We've still kind of been joking about it like, hey man, where I park my drift boat, nobody look at it, nobody see it. At every access, I need a private drift boat parking space. 
It is a very special drift boat, special trailer, and special truck. So I don't know if the state of Montana is going to come up with a plan where you can buy private access or private parking spots, but it sounds like there's at least some market for it. Um, anyways, made us laugh. Uh, fishing's been good. Fishing's vacant. There are no hoot owls. Um, we don't have fires. It's like a nice, nice, nice middle summer. Have a good day. Joe Cummings, SMB, signing out. <music>